But uh, that's how I see it. Let's jump in. From the ashes. Freed from the slave mines of Baria, Rask of South Creek Flats, and a small band of Rana flee and fight their way to the deep marsh and home. But the dangers in the marsh are many, and Rask must awaken the might of Rana to end the threat from the humans once and for all. The humans? Oh, they probably mean the Baryans, right? From ashes we rise. Oh, cool, man. Look at this map. That's amazing. Okay. Life returns to the marsh. Enslaved are the Rana. Enslaved are we all. The humans are many. They're big and we're small. They come to the marshes and take us away. They steal all the younglings at night and in day. But we know, little youngling, that times always change. And we will be free. I know it sounds strange. A wielder will come. His shackles will break with fury within him. His powers will wake. The rider is come. We sorrow no more. The rider is come. The Rana do roar. Hell yes. Oh, fantastic. So they did mention that they're doing a UI UX overall of the map editor. And it's mainly unlocalized because of that and doesn't have any tutorials. Oh, awesome. Okay, maybe I'll wait for that then to jump into the map editor. It just makes sense, right? Oh, oh man, back to basics. Here we go. Who is this? Rask, okay? Rask of South Creek Flats had been a slave of the Baryans since he was taken from the marsh as a youngling. Day after day, he and the other spawnlings toiled in the mines. He had accepted his fate and the fate of the Rana. For it all seemed hopeless. That was until today. Well, Frogling, today's your lucky day. Eh? Captain Xavier Silkspool have freed you and your fellows. Your chains are broken. No longer will you work in the mines of House Rosewater. By my hand and my contract, freedom is yours. P -p freedom? Thank you, friend of Rana. Friend of Rask. I am friend to no one. I have but my honor and a contract, and this contract would have me free you. Come Frogling, today we are allies, and I would see you safely. Away. But how can we leave? We can't make our way across the desert and home to the marsh. I've used my talents as a wielder and activated the portal. Just step through and it'll take you far from here to your beloved swamp. And these weapons will help you evade recapture. The marsh provides. We owe you our lives, Captain Silkspool. But these weapons... Uh, and with these weapons in your aid, we should free other slaves in the mine. Too late, the alarm has been raised. And Aliyah will come for you. Run home, little Rana. There's no profit in the world for you. Is he listening? Leading his mercenaries through the fires, the gallant wielder Captain Silkspool left Rask and his spawn mates to escape through the activated portal. Okay, because it's a tiny map again, we have like 5,000 FPS. So I just want to point out, firstly, that Rask here is just the most handsome frog I've ever seen. And secondly, uh, the the way the UI has changed and, and the way the like tile set has changed on the map and everything else is just, it's great. It's great. It's great. I want to consolidate these forces quickly. We're coming into this with a little bit more knowledge now. It's nice. The energy of the activated portal pushed Rask and his small band of spawn mates through, and they arrived in the outskirts of their beloved marsh. After quickly claiming a nearby lookout tower, Rask and his loyal friend, Cheekum, gathered close. Rask, what should we do? We'll escape north. The old Rana would say to keep Ravage's Peak on our right by day, and we follow the water lily star by night. Okay, soon we'll know true freedom. Slaves no more. <laughs> oh shit, this place looks so cool. Dude, look at it. Half desert, half swamp. So he said north. We're going to go up this way. Uh, I mean, I can't actually go down this side anyway. So it, it is just this way. And I see caged prisoners here. So if we come up this way. Does he have any items, by the way? No. Command and melee. Okay, good start. 
Up ahead, some Baharian merchants were forcing Rana into cages and preparing them for transport. One of the cage Rana spotted Rask and his small band of refugees and cried out a warning. Wait, what? You there! Get in line with the others, and we'll burn our way to the mines of Tempest Dunes. Come on, hurry up, and no one gets hurt. We aren't slaves. Captain Silkspool, friend of Rana, freed us. Silkspool? That's quite the story. Look, we know you're a runaway slave, and you must be both hungry and lost. How's Pelicus? We'll welcome you with open arms. Come peacefully, and we will give you extra rations for a week. No, never again. Free the younglings from these transport cages, and we'll be on our way. Ah, that fool Silkspool has armed them. Okay, it'll be the Twelfth Moon Massacre all over again, and no profit for us. Froglings, we have no quarrel with you. You are free to pass. Rask couldn't tear his eyes from the frightened younglings in the cage as his heart beat loudly in his ears. His body grew hot with rage. Suddenly, he heard a voice inside his head. Awaken. Rask felt the pain and rage flow to him from his spawn mates. He felt the essence. We aren't leaving without younglings. Free them now. You dare challenge us, swamp spawn? Be thankful we don't clasp irons on your tiny wrists. We'll never wear iron again, Rana. Uh, Rana, death to the slavers. Free the younglings. Okay, sorry, I, I misread there. Let's go. Oh, sick. Okay, so it was Rainer Helgerson that did the songs, but you don't know who did the vocals. That's perfect. I can take it from there. Thank you so much. He did the other ones. Can we take this? We should run in, right? No, we'll get the first attack if we if we go just if we wait right here we'll get the first attack. Watch. They have no range, so. Oh shit! Ah. <laughs> oh damn! They took they took some they took some health off there, huh? There was some health off there. Wait, should Silver look at his hat? It's a pumpkin. This is the this is the hat guy that you were talking about, Sedana? Okay. Rask and his spawn mates released the chained up Rana, who quickly joined his ranks. Rask, what happened? We could all feel your power and rage point to our bodies and strengthen us. We could see you wield magic. Something within me snapped and broke. Like the chains around our necks. Perhaps I'm a wielder, maybe I always was. The marsh adapts. Never heard of a Rana wielder in our time, Rask. What should we do now? We must free as many Rana as we can and escape into the marsh. I think early on you definitely have to take the troops. Silk Spoon is the hat guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. We missed him now. He's gone now, but we'll see him again for sure. It's kind of nice coming back to basics, huh? Rask and Cheekum join the other escaped slaves to fill their water skins from the pond and drink their fill. Chikam, what is it? I'd forgotten what the marsh smells like. In the mines, I would dream about home, imagining my village and the pond where I spawned. But every year, I lose a little bit more of that memory. We'll never go back to the mines, my friend. Never. We'll run and run to the deep marsh where the Parians will never find us. Is that really the plan? Um, yeah, I, think we, I think we can do better than that. I think we can do better than that. Dun -dun. I, I don't know if I should be going up. I don't think there's anything up. Apart from this. And I guess... No. Okay, we're going down. These guys have guns. Hmm. But they are protecting some more younglings, so let's go. What have we here, Morana? For target practice, run back to your bog. Our trade is done for the day. Leave our marsh now, Barian. Or we'll feed your body to the bog. Those guys can wait. You don't you don't send a stack of four in. It's not a good idea. What what is this wall? Uh so This is how you do it. Shit. Might be a mistake. No, it wasn't a mistake. I, I think this is ideal. Because he's reloading now, so... <laughs> Suck it! Bam!
Very good. Like I said, it's nice to go back to basics after we just had this massive map and like hundreds of troops to try and keep track of and like 10 bases and stuff. It's nice to just have one hero and a couple of troops. Fool, what have you done? I freed you from Borean oppressors. They're on our slaves no more. Come with us into the marsh. We have no choice. They'll send mighty wielders after us. The humans will always win. Our days are numbered. Life returns to the marsh. We always had a choice. And now we, Rana, have a wielder too, like the legends. Rask will lead us to safety. The marsh provides. It'll take more than one wielder to free the Rana. We'll gather in the marsh until a force so great, until we are a force so great that the desert will tremble from our steps. I've never seen a Rana wielder before. We'll come with you. But if you wish to succeed, persuade more of our spawnlings to join. Seven guys! Are oh, we leveled? Okay. Uh, we're definitely gonna go command first. We need a few a few levels of command. Let's just wait quickly. Loot all of this. And then purchase. We've we've got enough. Like I don't think we need more. Which way should we go, Rask? I'm not sure. The trail keeps taking us south and away from Ravager's Peak. And there's trouble ahead. Can you hear it? I hear the yips of the Dreth. If I remember correctly, that is a call of the Ravager. We can't turn back. We must find courage and face the beasts. Well, if I died today, at least I've seen the, bar the marsh once more and fought alongside a Rana wielder. We're stronger together, Chikam. Nothing will keep us from our home. Those dogs right there is what they're scared of. Dudes. We got this. There's apparently no enemy wielders here. Oh, we should probably go this way first. It seems like this is a smaller pack. And here's a town over here. It seems, looks. Oh wait, is this a town? I don't know. Huge bird-like beasts with piercing beaks and sharp talons. Ravager filled clearing. Ra ravages filled the clearing. I couldn't see that S. It's on top of the tree. These were the most feared creatures of the marsh. And they stood between Rask and his band of refugees in the safety of the marsh. Rask, I don't want to be food for the ravages. Don't be afraid, Chikam. If we don't defeat these beasts and... Oh, what? And they eat us? At least they are of the marsh. We don't die as slaves in the mines in far off Baria. We'll die free. Life returns to the marsh. <laughs> Life returns to the marsh. Was this a mistake? Was this a mistake? Are these guys really strong? They're scared of the birds, dude. Oh! Dude, it's three! Where did he get that speed from? Was he saving that? Oh god. Yo, Vidokas. Good evening to you too. Is this similar to Heroes of Might and Magic 3? That is exactly like Heroes of Might and Magic 3. It is a reimagining of it. They've basically taken all the best that Heroes of Might and Magic 3 had to offer and they've brought it into 2022 with gusto. It's it's fantastic. It feels exactly like playing Heroes. That's why I'm having so much fun with it. I played a lot of Heroes back in the day. Some of the Ravagers were killed, some ran off, but a few retreated. Rask ordered the troops back. There was something about these creatures that resonated with him. He slowly approached the lead Ravager. Rask, what are you doing? These creatures, they're of the marsh. Same as us. Something within them calls out to me. This is madness. They'll kill you. No, they will join me. To the amazement of the followers of Rask, as he reached out his hand, palm up towards the Ravagers. As he'd seen the Barians do with horses, the big one bent her neck towards Rask and swiftly he climbed on top, mounting the Ravager as a rider. Oh shit, really? The essence is the same as ours. We're all creatures of the marsh. We can tame them, protect them, and they'll do the same for us. I can feel them. Rask and the legends of old, the Rana rode Ravagers to war. There's another legend my granny would tell us. Something about the rider is come. Save Granny Sawtooth's tales until later. We should hurry and ride deeper into the marsh. The Borians will be in pursuit. <laughs> okay, okay. So, hold on, hold on. Do we actually get something for this? 
Oh, March plus one movement. Definitely taking that. Immediately taking that. Extra movement is just like, it's the lifeblood of this game, I'm telling you. Did Rask's name change? The first rider. That is a nice touch. You're right. Okay, end the turn. Some Rana families built farms here, hoping to trade gifts of food that would keep them free from the slaver's shackles. Oh, a shaman. Cool. We saw you. We see you. Right in Ravager. The legends speak of a day like this. I don't know our legends. I've been in the Barian mind since I was very young. I'm Rask. Spawned in South Creek Flats. Rask, the first rider. We shall follow you. Our farms are yours. We'll fight with you if you can arm us. All run our welcome, but we must hurry east. I've heard tales of Baria's vengeance, and we can't defeat them yet. It's time for gold. Oh! Oh! A bunch of shamans? Ooh. Okay, so we're making a bunch of income here. To what end? Now, they say hurry east. That means go back. <laughs> That's code for go back the other way. I'm serious. That's code for go back the other way. That's a lizard man, not a choc- uh, not a murloc. You know, so many different like fantasy creatures can be traced to so many different stories and then linked up together as being so similar that they could be seen as the same thing. You know, it's just someone else's tale being told. Do we have a ranged attack on here? Like what do the shamans do? Explosive fungi. Summon three mines that deal 30 damage when stepped on. Oh, ho, 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 really? Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. You got the high ground. Do we run back now? No, they, they, they are actually in range of us now, so we fight. I should have taken the high ground. I didn't think of that. Are they serious? They get the first attack, but not again, right? Yeah, 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 only the ones. These poor birds are about to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I thought so. This was a poor fight for me, uh, but it's fine. Like, they just, they just keep getting the high ground. They are, they, they are so smart. I should have put a damn fungi on the high ground. That was, that was, I got wrecked, dude. Like, I got owned there. I might have won the fight, but I'm losing the war because of that. Oof. Every time you take March if you can. But I mean, we actually do need more space for troops. No, wait, we just lost the birds, so... I don't think there's a rush where this stuff is like concerned. Like I can just go, you know, I can take my time. I can fart around a little bit. Wow. Damn, that's cool. Vidokas, you want to see a spiritual successor to Disciples too? D3 and D4 don't count? <laughs> hey, listen. I personally don't actually consider anything after Heroes of Might and Magic 3 to count either. So I, I, I feel where you're coming from, where something like that's concerned. Uh, I, I also believe that those are just like, you know, 
They, they, they have the name, but they aren't the same, you know? So I feel you. But like, they did a great job with this, huh? Like, I played through the human campaign, and uh, for real, it is a treat. So if you were like looking for something that's even just a little bit, like, I guess, Heroes of Might and Magic, and I, I suppose you can cons cons compare it to like King's Bounty and all those others. Like, there's a lot of games you could compare it to, but I think Heroes of Might and Magic is like, at, at its core, what it's most like. Then this is the one for you. It's like, it's really cool, man. Like, it's really cool. Hand over your valuables and you may yet live. Humans are all the same, no respect for life, only profit. Hmm. I hope this wasn't a mistake. I don't know how many mobs there were now, I didn't look. Oh no, okay, this is fine. So we're gonna run, we're gonna take the high ground immediately. GG, dude. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck up here. Oh my god. You love the King's Body games, and the newest one was disappointing. Isn't that always the case, man? Like, they've... <sighs> Too many of my favorite series have been massacred, so when it comes to, like, sequels and, like, you know, just, just follow-ups to anything that uh, I knew and loved from back in the day, I... Very much... Oh, no, wait, so... They say worthy. I very much just, like, I chill on it, man. I, I don't... I don't... I don't expect anything from it. I don't, like... I, I don't hype myself up, especially when it's the sequels. I've learned my lesson now. I've learned my lesson, you know, <laughs> you know, I've learned my lesson. I'll come back for the bandits. After we get the spear, we'll go back. Oh, actually, after we get these guys. Wait, why are they not joining us? I thought they would join us. Hello? I thought the birds were our friends. Is this high ground? Jesus! Oh god! That was so much damage! Mistake! Our forces are dwindling. I, I should have listened to them and just gone east. I'm now exploring like off the beaten path here too much. Yeah, I'm getting experience. Sure, 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 sure. But like at what cost? The cost is all my units. A few ravages still standing after the battle and Rask approached uh, them with outstretched hands, palms up. He soothed them and led them back to his troops. Three. Sure, man. That's totally not worth it. Okay, so, so yeah, like, I made a mistake now. I'm gonna go back. No, maybe it doesn't... No, 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 this is the same way. It's all the same. It's all the same. We're gonna keep going this way. It's fine. Here's a village. Oh. Okay. What the heck? The small settlement of Rana had been able to survive here on the fringes of the marsh. As Rask and his band approached, an old hunter came out to greet them. Are you the one causing all the ruckus? We had managed to have a peaceful life here. They took your broodlings as slaves. What kind of life is that? A bad one, but still a life. The marsh adapts. It's time for the runner to live in the marsh without fear. The marsh provides. The marsh provides a runner wielder, just like the legends. A wielder? I never believed I'd met a runner wielder. And never before did I dare to dream of a life without fear. Red Reed Flats will support you and follow you. The marsh gives life. Hmm. 
Okay. Need celestial ore for this one. Let's. Wow. I can, I can just upgrade them all. Dude, now, I think, now we are, like, sitting pretty. This is, like, this is not bad. This is not bad. I want to go over there. There's some stuff. Let's save and let's do it. We're probably fine. Animated human skeleton stood. Their feet mired in the bog and blocking the path. As Rask and his followers drew close, the skeletons closed ranks and advanced on the runner. Bound by oath, bound to God. Disgusting. These are undead humans. Bound by oath, bound to her. They pollute our marsh. We should destroy them. Life returns to the marsh. There's no place for the undead here. <clears throat> so interesting because, like, uh, as far as I can tell, this is, might be happening, like, at the same time. And, and by, by her, they mean the same uh, queen that we saw at the end of the previous campaign. Uh, this interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. The the, uh, the ghostly... No, actually, this one shouldn't be up here. Lady. I don't know what her name was. I can't... Aurelia, right? I think her name's Aurelia. Wait up. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> uh, I put it rather... Here. Then we wait. Oh, ho, 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 yes, dude. That worked. And... Yeah, we can wait again. Aurelia, yes, okay. If this is happening at the same time, Hatman might be off to have his head nicked. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, Hatman might be about to die. Exactly, on the other side. He freed us, and then he went to... Not so much fight, but, you know, he went to engage over there. And that's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes perfect sense. Uh, time for more command. He's, he's, he's with Stout Heart right now, I guess. And as it became clear that the, Ran, uh, the Roots and their dragon allies wouldn't submit without a war, the Empress sent for her legions and her wielders. Murkoth, her sword, was the first to arrive. Cool. It's always worth picking up as much as you can on these maps, because the more you empower your wielder early on, the better off you are later on because it all carries over you're gonna have the same guy all the way through so yeah if you can if you can do that you should do that or so i have come to realize yes do i want to change any of these hunters Gold. I guess this is fine. We don't need to change it now. There's some walls and stuff down here. Let's do it. There's no other wielder on this map. Remnants of large bones and ancient weapons littered the ground near the strange structure. It seemed a battle had taken place here long ago. Rask, look at the size of that bone. Can you imagine the beast it belonged to? Another marsh creature wiped out by the humans. Why do they hate us? I don't know, Chikum. Who can understand humans? You know, shit. I wonder if this is just one big misunderstanding again. Small company of Barian mercenaries stood guard at the border pass. Let us pass, Barian. We return to the marsh. Run along, little Rana, and live. Our contact only states that we should guard this passage. Doesn't stipulate that we need to pursue anyone who flees. Uh, so, interesting. I c I'm actually behind them. <laughs> so, uh, like, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> That's kind of weird. I, I never understand this. It's like, why do they always engage from in front of the... Uh, 
of the barricades. So now the reason, by the way, that I go back is so that they have to move before they attack. Then they take a 50% damage penalty. Watch. They get one attack off, they kill one or two of our guys, but then we get to move in uh, while they reload in and we get to finish it, hopefully. Kill four to five, sure, whatever, go for it. Okay, what do we got? Friendly troop gets 75 melee resistance. Target troop becomes unattackable. Explosive fungi, destroy essence, aggression. Oh yeah, that's pretty aggressive. Let's save this guy. And then unattackable. We wait. Hey, dude. That was some strategy right there. That worked well. Okay. Source of power, not so interested in that. No. Ancient ruins. Ooh. There's walls over here, it seems important. This is the way we need to go, so this is the way we're gonna go first to go and check. There's some fey creatures here. What was that? Rask. The Rana drums warn of danger. A large force of Boreans has entered the marsh. You must lead the Rana into the deep marsh. We're not ready for a whole battalion of Boreans. We follow you, first rider. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, I guess we need to go. Okay, fine. So, let's just go. I, I mean, they're trying, to, they're trying to let me go now. I suppose. Let's find out if that's, in fact, the case. If those guys keep pushing forward, then we might obviously have to uh, watch out, you know? Wow, look how far they can run. It, it works in our favor, obviously, this. The bird waits. Oh! No! Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I could have, I could have finished this without any losses. Oops. Oh, dude, what a cool death animation. What's the point of, like, looting gold and stuff here? I don't know, man. Oh, I think that's the way we need to go. Oh, no. This is a dead end. <laughs> oh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, we need to get out of here. Oof. That's kind of scary. Ooh, suicide. <laughs> okay. It would be nice if we could like come back and kill her later. Oh, we didn't get this. Yeah, she's just she's chasing, dude. And I missed that, but it's fine. Wait, stop. Let's pick some dudes up over here and then let's push, push through. Okay. She's close. We, we better move. The final obstacle. Large company of Barian mercenaries led by a huge 
Harima warriors to the guard at the only way deeper into the marsh. That's quite the following you have there, Swamp Spawn. Haven't you heard the stories of what we do when you gather like this? I've heard those stories all my life, but this is a new story. Ha! Ah, the mouth on this one will put back in your put you back in your place like all the others. So I put him here immediately. We want to obviously have the, the ranged guys ready to fight. I think especially early on, the ranged minions are just so much stronger. Wait, I thought that was high ground. Hello? Okay. Apparently not. Okay. Oh, I don't need to keep the smaller stacks back. This is the last fight. Duh. Okay. So I'll, I'll, let the, I'll send this in. Uh, so that the, the, the gunman can shoot... Oh, okay. That didn't work. <laughs> Shit. Well, there it is. Uh, let's see. Oh. That's fortuitous. Those big guys are strong. Not strong enough. The final obstacle. There it is, dude. There it is. Okay. Can we leave? Just like that. Brask led the Rana, old and young, deeper into the embrace of the marsh. He was leading them home to South Creek Flats. That's really cool. I wonder if there are actually dragons on their side, because I saw dragons in the trailer. I wasn't sure where they were from. Having escaped the mines of Rosewater, Rask and Cheekum led the Rana deeper into the marsh hoping that the Barian House of Rosewater wouldn't pursue them further. Oh shit, here we go. Yes, dude. Lay it on me. Out of a poor till stepped the young and hard and mad. He will bring doom to all of us, for now he's just so sad. <laughs> to the swamp, to the refuge he had sought. But he found some greedy merchants just inspecting what they bought. Enraged by all of this, his essence it was pure. His rage was all of him, their sickness is the cure. <laughs> He'll fight forevermore <laughs> and all he will endure. For ask the rider, he's death. Of that you can be sure. Oh my god, once again. I must tell you, this one started a little weaker than the others, but it, it, it pulled back and it delivered by the end. Fantastic work. I like it. I like it.